Hey, everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the GE GTW465 ASN washers machine. Getting started. Step 1. Add fabric softener to the fabric softener. If using detergent packets, add to the bottom of the wash basket before adding clothes. Step 2. Loosely add items around agitator or infuser. Overloading may negatively impact wash performance. Add the manufacturer's recommended amount of detergent to the top of the load after adding clothes. We recommend the use of high-efficiency detergents such as in your energy-efficient washer. Step 3. Close lid. Select wash cycle. Select wash options, including deep rinse option when using fabric softener. Select options. Select load size. Step 4. Press start. Controls. A start pause. Press start to begin the cycle. Pressing pause will unlock the lid, pause the cycle and the pause indicator light will blink. B cycle status lights. Shows whether the washer is in the fill, soak, wash, rinse or spin portion of the cycle. C load size. Add detergent to the bottom of the basket and fabric softener to the dispenser prior to loading clothes. Loosely load items in the washer basket. Overloading may negatively impact wash performance. Adjust the load size accordingly. D wash cycle cycle selector knob. The wash cycle controls the type of washing process. The cycle selector knob can be turned in either direction. Turning the knob after starting a cycle will stop the washer and change the cycle options to the new selection. Press start to begin the new cycle selection. E. Settings. Select settings for agitation, soil, and water temperature. F. Cycle options. The stain pre-treat feature allows you to indicate what stains are on the garments in your load. An initial water fill is performed at a temperature tailored to the stain type selected and to an amount which enables a concentrated cleaning step. Automatic load sensing. This determines the correct agitate profile, agitate duration and amount of water suited to the size and type of load placed in the washer. The washer will not start the wash cycle or fill with water if the lid is open. Liquid Fabric Softener Dispenser 1. Make sure dispenser is securely attached to agitator. 2. Use only liquid diluted fabric softener. Pour into dispenser, using amount recommended on package. 3. Add water to dispenser until it reaches the maximum fill line. 4. Select deep rinse option. Liquid bleach. Liquid chlorine bleach should be added through the bleach dispenser in the front left corner. Follow bleach manufacturer's recommendations for the correct amount of liquid chlorine bleach based on load size, taking care to not apply or spill it directly on clothing. Loading. Loading the washer. Load dry items loosely in the washer basket. For best results, load items evenly and loosely around the outside of the basket, filling in towards the center on larger loads. To add items after washer has started, press start pause if the lid is locked wait until the lid lock indicator on the display is no longer illuminated before attempting to open the lid. Lift the lid and submerge additional items around the outside of the basket. Close the lid and press start to resume. Adjust load size selection and or use deep fill option if necessary. Care and cleaning. Cleaning the fabric. Remove the dispenser from the top of the agitator. Separate the dispenser cup from the cover by grasping the top and pushing down on the inside of the cup with your fingers. 1 US gallon, 3.8 liters, warm water. 1 quarter cup, 60 milliliters, heavy duty liquid detergent. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, bleach. If necessary loosen build up with a clean, soft cloth after soaking. Rinse and reassemble dispenser. Place dispenser back on the agitator. Installation. Unpacking the washer. After the machine is in the home, remove outside packing material carton from washer. Remove bag drain hose and owner's reference guide from tub. Remove the base. Remove base from unit by placing foot on side of base and tipping unit back on corner post. Remove base and bring the washer back upright. Connect drain hose to washer. Remove the cap from the drain port, if present, before installing the drain hose. Connect drain hose to drain port on back of washer. Open clamp with pliers and slide onto hose end. Holding clamp open, push hose end onto drain port until fully seated. Connect water hoses to washer. Unplug electrical cord before installing water hoses. If not installed, install rubber washer in one end of hot water hose. Thread hot water hose onto connection labeled H at top rear of washer. Hand tighten and use pliers to tighten hoses between 1 8 and 1 quarter turn beyond hand tight. Warnings. Do not wash or dry articles that have been previously cleaned in, washed in, soaked in or spotted with gasoline, dry cleaning solvents, or other flammable or explosive substances, as they give off vapors that could ignite or explode. Do not add gasoline, dry cleaning solvents, or other flammable or explosive substances to the wash water. 
These substances give off vapors that could ignite or explode. Do not allow children to play on or in this appliance. Do not reach into the appliance if the tub or agitator is moving to prevent accidental entanglement. Do not install or store this appliance where it will be exposed to the weather. Do not operate this appliance if it is damaged, malfunctioning, partially disassembled, or has missing or broken parts including a damaged cord or plug. For more updates subscribe to our channel.